Starbucks is rustling back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed. I'm doing blessed and highly favored and definitely hope the same for you. And if this is your first time stopping by my channel, much love to you and welcome. And to my returning subs, my grown extended beautiful family, just thank you so much for the love and support um, you've been giving yourself. Knowing, you know, you take the time out each and every day to know that, you know, whatever has been placed in your life that really has truly put you in a dark place that you will soon be up out of that. So give yourself time and, you know, and keep keep the faith in things, you know, overturning for you. So with that being said, much love to all. Namaste. Love and blessings. Love and light. And many blessings are definitely coming your way. And if you have been watching my videos for a while and have not already, please like and subscribe even hit that notification bell so you know when your girl's about to upload the next video also if you are uh comfortable enough please drop me a line or two i love the chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me even if it's about the positive feedback of the content of my video or you're just up telling me about your empathic gift and how it impacted your life and head you towards a positive direction also if you um feel like the videos gave you good vibes or good information that you would love to um share with others you know that you know loved one family or friend or even their fellow empath are going through some really trying times right now and they're just trying to you know guide themselves towards you know that positive path or even got questions about their soul purpose or even you know just life in general please go ahead and get sale i'll say share share <laughs> and while you're at it give me a thumbs up like and also share on your social media favorites wherever you see fit thank you so much for the love and support that you've been giving me and I love y'all from the bottom of my heart and I hope you're able to resonate with the content of my video um, the meditation I'm using uh, right now is 528 Hertz tranquility music for self healing finding peace within yourself like music for your soul and I was like wow why do I feel a little bit emotional I was just like what is this but you know first thing I saw was like you know this flower you know on the thumbnail it's like a flower coming out of up, up out of the ground and you see uh buddha sitting right next to it you know y'all you know i always tell y'all love buddha um in the video that i'm doing today is 2701 hey because when something has been taken out of your life to be replaced with better oh wow <laughs> you know we have gone through so many ills we have took a lot of losses we have had a lot of setbacks um we have lost friends and family along the way and being able to swallow that pill called truth you know it can be very hard you know separating yourself from a lot of different things that you felt comfort comfort in you seek comfort in um a lot of times we take for granted things will always be there people will always be there which is not you know circle of life um being able to be less you know um a lot of things that you have been facing and um it's just like you know you go through going through your spiritual awakening can be, be a very tough ride to have to experience but through all in all you know it has a positive outcome you know it might start off hectic and sad um you, you look at a lot of things that has been snatched away from you like left and right it might feel like you know the world is punishing you it's like you against everything and you know that can be a really you know you know um very tragic thing to experience you know um it's like when i sit up here and i think about my 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 experience i mean i went through a lot of hell like you know who hasn't but going through a lot of stuff that i had to face with it you know there's times it gets overwhelming you know knowing how many people i've lost along the way that i never got to get in contact with but it's just a blessing absolute absolute blessing to be able to know my spiritual gifts even though like my family there's so many like my both sides my grandparents have passed my father you know, i lost a brother um it, it was a lot to deal with you know it really was and you know it's just like you can i sit back and think about all the opportunities that i had missed out on you know not really knowing what was going on you know and i could have a lot of guilt in my heart for that you know and i just prayed to god all the time you know i'm sorry for what you know i didn't dive deep into you know i was hasty you know i felt a certain way 
know what the lives were. It scared me, so I ran. You know, I used to run a lot. I used to run away from my my problems a lot. And you know, and I was like, you know, right before I started this video, after I just finished the last one, I was like, which one am I go to? Because I got so many content uh, titles that I choose from. It was just like that, that part's been speaking to you. Um, with things being taken out of your life. And I mean, there's, I would never want anybody, you know, and I've told a lot of my, my friends that know what I went through. I said, I would never wish that on my worst enemy to be able to experience the pain I've endured during this journey. But my, um, my tragedy is also been my blessing as well. Uh, it's a sad situation when you have loved ones, especially a parent, you know that has been through transition or whatever and or even you know grandparents or close friends you never know whoever has you know has been snatched out of your life and you know you always have to think positive they don't have any more worries no more pain whatever they were going through they're no longer going through that and we it it takes a long time for us to be able to uh, find that peace in your heart for grieving you know, it was like Mother Day. Mother's Day was so hard for me, you know, really hard for me. And it was just like I sat here and cried because it's like, you know, I missed my mom. You know, even though she wasn't my biological mom, that's the mom I grew to be. Uh, no, um, knowing that she's no longer here, it's just like I constantly hear her. And it is just like, I mean, I get emotional. Cause it's like that i really miss you being here even though i can talk to you at any time and it was like a blessing to me after my mom had passed uh i had a sister that she had uh my adopted sister she had died like a few years before that my, my sister died like in 92 93 and i was the baby so it was just like you know right after my mom passed away I would constantly see her and I thought it was in my dreams but she would be sitting at the foot of my bed and I would just be laughing and talking with her and my sister and it was like you know it's amazing because it's like since my sister had passed I never you know had dreams of her or anything like that you know so I really wasn't in touch with my spirituality at that time and it was like it took my ex to say you know what are you doing like almost every night you're up at 333 you know between 330 and 333 every morning like clockwork and you're sitting up and you're just laughing and talking and i don't you know know who and what you're talking to and i thought i was like wait a minute you know i thought it was a dream i said wow i've really been doing that he's like yes and you've been you know messing up my sleep while you're doing that and i said well i'm talking to my mom and my sister you know he's like wow <laughs> you know so it was just a blessing even you know my mom wanted to make sure i was okay before she you know transitioned further so it would be like you know it was us both missing that quality time that we we end up growing to love towards the end you know and i had to really um think about those times and not about the times that you know she was sick and suffering and stuff like that i had to get my mind wiped out of that because if not i would have drove myself crazy you know i had a close friend that i grew up with her parents were in the military with mine and her and my her her mom and my mom were really good friends and her mom passed away from cancer too and i have to tell her you know hey you know your mom doesn't want you thinking about all those bad times the, the transition she had to go through she wants you to cherish the good times you know the things that made y'all laugh the things that made y'all cry the things that made sink y'all comfort and just to know everything that's been taken out of your life you know it'll be you know nobody will never take the place of your mom like your dad or anything like that but then you know there's blessings that flow through after all those storms that you had to endure um all the the healing processes that you had to constantly go through be able to heal your heart you know we always you know we we always be in emotions when we lose somebody we really truly care about and you have to really be blessed to know that you know even though they can't be replaced they never can but you know they will never leave your side you know they watch over you all the time you know just being able to connect with my loved ones as well as others love other, other loved ones and being able to tell you know certain my certain uh, love books about certain things that come into your life um, and they're like telling me and it's just like amazing how they can tell me stuff and then I'll be able to relay it back and they're like Rosalyn you got a camera in my house I'm like no you know it's just like this is what they wanted me to tell you 
and it's a blessing to be able to do that to give somebody comfort uh, during those dark times especially when you truly miss somebody um, and going through things like that you know it's just like I had to tell myself yeah I lost a lot of you know a lot of people during my life my lifetime and you know um, I experienced death a lot around me and it was just like when I know I can take comfort and peace that they're no longer suffering the way they did and you know I was just like I used to constantly beat myself up for not going to see my dad when he came here and it was just like you know what that's the saddest thing you can ever go through and I mean it's really the only positive thing I can actually say is that you know when they're released from this world they're they they're in that transition to a beautiful place where there's no sadness no no worrying about illnesses being sick being worrying about if your children are gonna be okay or you know loved ones being okay you know I said I had to really go through this dark time of my life but it has allowed me to uh, basically see who I truly was throughout this tragedy that's, that's the blessing out of it being able to see what I was able to be capable of what I was what milestones I was trying to reach you know heal from a lot of different things and you know I, I have my sad moments I won't lie I have my sad moments y'all have seen me in my sad moments of where you know that 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 energy comes up and I'm trying not to cry right now but it, it's just like you can be able to find that sunshine through the rain you know being able to deal with that a lot is it's like it's been it's been a, it's been a duty <laughs> it really has been like i tell anybody you know it, it's sad when you lose somebody but when they tend to be a celebrity for who they are and you just constantly see how you know my dad's departure 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 has really affected a lot of people that he's like you know impacted their lives one way or another and it's like with me I feel a lot of their opinion and a lot of times it's like it's a healing process to see how much he's loved but then at the same time I, I tend to get all the energy that they felt about him leaving so that's the that's the downside of it because I feel all that pain on top of what I'm dealing with myself so you know my dad keeps telling me you know keep telling me in my head i'm so proud of you this is the strength i've been wanting this you know you to see for the longest time i keep hearing my dad say that this is the strength you've had inside yourself that i wanted you to see you know and i mean going through that and actually experiencing the things i did you know i wouldn't you know people say if you can do it again i, I lord i'm blessed i'm blessed that i don't have to go through that again because i really thought i was gonna lose my mind you know, I did a little bit, you know, when I went through that tragedy, but knowing that all the determination and the positivity and the love that I'm pushing out for other people, I know I'm going to have something better coming in within my life. So if you're dealing with a lot of things and you're angry about things departing your life uh, the way it did, trust and believe, you know, God, universe, creator has bigger plans for you. You know, you know, you might be praying for something else. You know it's gonna be magnetized uh, ten times fold for the stuff that you, you have endured because that's you know re repaid in kind that karma that blessing that you tend to get so I hope you were able to resonate with the content of this video if you're going through some dark times right now just tell yourself this is only temporary you just because this is my destination don't mean it's your final one so allow yourself to transition allow yourself to see things for what they are knowing better days will come for you so um i hope you're able to resonate with the content of this video please give me your feedback it's greatly appreciated um know that you are truly blessed highly favored and forever loved and knowing there's always somebody out there praying for your better days and i hope you have a blessed safe weekend be responsible for everything you do and, you know, send out as much love and light and positivity as you possibly can for others. You never know what they're going through. And your words can really go a long way. And I will see you on my next video. I'm going to give a post notification shout out to Donna Hardy, uh, Job for Life, and Robert Cole. Much love to you. And I'll see you on my next video. Much love. Peace. Be well.